y'all. So today I want to talk about something highly requested, and that is browser extensions, also known as user scripts, which I'll explain here in a second. Basically, y'all are always asking me, how did you get these icons below your items that show up on all kinds of pages? They show up here in my inventory, here in my shop, and even when I'm restocking in Neopian shops. Well, today I'm gonna answer that question. I use a couple of browser extensions to make my life on Neopets a little bit easier. This website is old and clunky and anything you can do to make it run better and work better for you is, in my opinion, a really good idea. Neopets has traditionally been a little nervous about these types of extensions and for good reason. In the past, people have used botting and stuff to try and mess with the economy. So I understand where they're coming from, but I promise that every single one of the extensions that I'm showing you today are 100% approved, will not get you in trouble, and aren't automated in any way, and so aren't against the rules. So first things first, where can you find these? Well, the first place you can find them is in the description of this video. I'm gonna talk about three different user scripts and you can find all of the links in this video. But if you'd like to find more, then the place to find them is on the Neopets subreddit. So once you get to the subreddit, the best way to find reliable user scripts is to go to the resources tab and then to the second link, which is guides slash user scripts. This is a really helpful page and I recommend anyone look at it if they haven't before. It has all kinds of great stuff, but at the very bottom, it has a long list, well, a longish list of user scripts. So first I have to explain what a user script is. So when people ask me what this is, I usually say it's a browser extension, but technically that's not strictly true. What it is, is a custom user script designed for TamperMonkey. TamperMonkey is a browser extension that basically allows other people to code their own browser extensions and run scripts within websites. It's an incredibly helpful and powerful tool that I would recommend anyone use, especially if you want to use the user scripts for Neopets, because all of them require TamperMonkey. To find TamperMonkey, you can just Google it plus your browser of choice. It's available for both Chrome and Firefox on their respective extension or add-ons pages. It's one click to install and very simple. So once you've installed TamperMonkey, you still need to install the user scripts. The number one user script that I recommend anybody get, and this is the one that everyone's always asking me about, is called Search Helper by Diceroll123. This is, as you've seen, an incredible script that basically adds quick links to all of these pages your inventory, your safety deposit box, Jadora's Bluff, employment agency, anywhere items play a major role on the site. It gives you a host of searching options from the shop wizards, both super shop wizard and regular, to the trading post, the auction, auction genie, your safety deposit box, jelly neo. It also uses smart links. So for example, if it's a neocash item, it takes away the link for the shop wizard or the trading post. And if it's a wearable item, it adds a link to dress to impress. None of the searching is automated, which means when you click the shop wizard, it doesn't search for you. It only copies the name for you into the search window. So technically it's not automated and therefore is not against Neopets terms of service. I highly recommend this user script for everybody. I cannot live without it. So how do you install it? All of the dice roll one, two, three scripts are very easy to install. You just click the GitHub link here and this should open a TamperMonkey page. If it doesn't, make sure that you have TamperMonkey installed properly. You might have to restart your browser after installing TamperMonkey the first time. Now, as you can see, I already have Search Helper installed, but if you didn't have it installed, it would just say install right here, and all you have to do is click it, and it'll be up and running. If you get a white screen like this, don't worry. That's totally normal. Just close it, and it should have installed fine. You might have to refresh any pages or restart your browser. The way you can tell that the TamperMonkey script is running is that any page that it should be running on, it will state that it's running. So as you can see, this is my TamperMonkey icon right here. This little one means that one script is running and when I click it, it will tell me that it's the Neopet search helper that's running. The next user script that I wanna talk about is called Better Quick Stock. So here's basically how it works. They actually posted a screenshot of how it works, but I think it's clearer in action, so I'm just gonna show you. So basically, this is the Quick Stock menu that we know and love. It's long and kind of difficult to navigate and sometimes it can be hard to see which one you're clicking exactly. So here's how better quick stock works. So the first thing that you'll notice is that there are these little check boxes next to all of the columns. This will select everything in a column in a given set of items. So this is incredibly convenient. The other thing that it does 
is as you can see, it highlights these so you know exactly which one that you're clicking on, which is just so convenient. Also at the bottom, you can check to select all in a given column if you don't wanna to have to go through. If you have a lot more stuff in your safety deposit box than I do, you can see how that would be a game changer. So to install Better Quick Stock, you go to the Reddit page and then you click the GitHub link. This is different from Diceroll 123's link. Now you might be looking at this GitHub page. I'm being a little scared, but I promise you don't need to be. All you have to do, if you have Tamper Monkey installed and running, is click this raw button. Tamper Monkey will immediately pick up that this is a script and it will open that same page that you've seen before. Like before, just install and reload the page and it should be working. And finally, the last one I want to try out is Training Timer. Now, I haven't actually used this one, but I think it'll be really helpful for me because I'm constantly forgetting to pull Ashcomb out of training. So this will supposedly let me know how much longer Ashcomb has in his training academy without me having to set an alarm on my phone or anything. This link just goes straight to the script. I'm just gonna click install. It's a white screen, but it should work anyway. And what it instructs you to do is to go to where you are training a pet and that will sync it up. So yeah, now that I've gone to the courses page, it's synced up and it's telling me that Ashcomb still has five hours, 28 minutes and 11 seconds in training. And if I click it, I wonder, yes, it takes me to his page, his status page. Wow, that is so incredibly convenient. I'm obsessed with this. What a cool script. Okay, y'all, well, I hope that that helps you out. These are just some really helpful and convenient user scripts that can make your time on Neopets just a little bit easier. If you're interested in any of the user scripts that I showed off today, the links are in the description. Or if you wanna see any more, then just head over to the Reddit. Make sure to check the comments and make sure that the code is clean and that you're not installing a malicious script into your Tamper Monkey. If it's here on the user scripts section of the subreddit, then it's totally safe and totally not gonna get you in trouble on Neopets, but I can't promise for anything else. So I hope y'all have a lot of fun and until next time, I really hope y'all have a great day. So if I go to status, oh, and I got, whoa! <laughs> I got 47,000 Neo points on the ground. Wow. <laughs> okay, 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 anyway. Moving on with the tutorial. <laughs>